little wave action on the western side of Woodby Island. Kind of fun. We're going to build some footers. We're going to put in some rebar. Tomorrow I get an inspection. I hope everything passes and I hope somebody can maybe learn a little something or get something from my crazy ideas. Well, enjoy the video. Well, I finally finished doing the circumference of the house for my footers. And I just wanted to show you guys a trick that made this go from super, super difficult to do by yourself to expensive. And that is these two clamps. Now, oddly enough, this clamp right here turned out to be the most handy of handy clamps. It's a Craig clamp that's made to go inside of the screw hole. What makes it great is, if I can get down here without covering the camera, the one end, uh, there we go, doesn't have a pad on it. And so that end dents into the wood and holds it really good. I don't know if everybody has a headache now or not. But it holds it really good and then you can take your hammer and you can just kind of slowly tap it until it's perfect but there's where the garage goes bulkheads either way this will be the common wall between the garage and the house and we can look on down there there's some step footings down there in the shadows Next, I got to get it filled in so the concrete doesn't just come pouring out, but I'll do that with this queen. The easiest way to do it. And then up there is my garage. We got to give a little update today on the footers. So, as you can see, I've got, I couldn't find the bag, so I just went and got a tarp because of the slope of everything it would have cost a lot of money in lumber to fill this thing up and use plywood and so i just went and got a I think it was five dollars for a tarp cut the tarp in half and each half did a side but you can see i've got my um my rebar running in here i've got my uprights tied now i need number five bars every 32 inches because I'm going over the 10 foot six high walls with no uh, diaphragm. So they changed me up to number five rebar for that. I went ahead and just put the plastic in that way no uh, concrete will go squirting out. And when I get done, my boards will be clean. I think I did it more for clean boards, but it'll also save me a little bit on concrete. This is step footing, new Dura or 18 inches. So my footing steps down 18 inches so if you'll notice these bars are short they'll be sticking up out of the footer oh about 27 inches the splicing is 40 times the diameter which is I believe 25 inches on a number four bar so they're about that much too long which is of course fine and then if you get to here you'll see the bars get taller that's because I have a window here this is our bedroom window this bar goes up one side of the bedroom window that bar goes up the other side of the bedroom window. These two, rather than make them short and then splice in and lose 25 inches of rebar, I cut these to go right up to the bottom of the windowsill. And now we'll go over putting in a rebar. Because I'm below my step footer, my bedroom window sill is, believe it or not, way up there. I need to stick up seven, no, eight feet. I need to stick up out of the footer. Let me just double check this. Yep, eight foot. And then I need a tail, which is nine inches. So I think I have written over here plus nine. Yep, plus nine. So eight foot plus nine. I tried cutting these with the rebar bender cutter 
and um, I can cut in a half inch bar just fine, but five eighths bar, I'm just not fat enough to cut it. I could do a video on me bouncing on the handle. Even with this pipe here for a cheater, I could barely cut a number five. So I got eight feet that I need to stick up and nine inches that it takes for the tail. Let's go ahead and add 10 and that works out good. So I'm making a couple mark. Normally we have a piece of yellow chalk, but not today. board here for my marker so I just come right down till I'm there okay. and there you have it perfect little tail on a number five bar I've supported tails so many different ways in a footing and I hate it every time. I've used two by fours to go along the top. I've used rebar, which actually I like the rebar better. All kinds of ways to tie it. This time I just took scrap boards and put holes in them, which so far seems to be working just fine. So I'll slip the board on here. This is not how the pros do it. Can tell you right now because I am working as a homeowner on this job set my set these up so four inches is the center of my bar so I just do a little wrap bring it around throw a couple on here Of course I made this one a little too short. You can do a hundred of them and as soon as you turn the camera on you totally screw up. So there's that. Bring this guy over here. This is where our bedroom window goes. Bars can sit on the top or the bottom, doesn't matter. So, this is called using your head. <laughs> Hold this guy in here. here first time I ever did very much steel tying with glasses and I find it makes it much much harder still here tying my tail sometimes I put a figure eight tie sometimes I just put a snap tie and I can't tell you why and now I have one tall bar right in the middle of my um, bedroom window. All right, go. Ready? Yes, sir. All right, so I'm just going to show you here a little quick tie on these guys. I mean, I don't do anything fancy. Just throw on a little figure eight. 
and she's ready to go. Uh, come down here on my tail. Throw in a little figure eight. Boom. And that's not going anywhere. There we go. Since the footers were so deep down here, I decided to put a second number four bar down by the bottom. I'm assuming that's what the inspector's going to want. Don't really know. Haven't ever dealt with uh, Island County, Washington before. So tomorrow, I'm going to find out. We'll see what everybody has to say. The uh, bottom bar just plays out as the footer gets shallower. And then I tuck underneath and I have, you can see L bars right there, bent into two 90s with minimum of 20 inches and a second bar down at the bottom of my footer. Hopefully this all passes. We will see. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Here's a little picture of a bird. We got up at uh, Rosario Beach, I believe it was called, up in Fildago Island. Feel free to subscribe, say something nice, and y'all have a good day.